In this video, I will show you operational amplifier current to voltage converter circuit. I will show you inverting and non-inverting current to voltage converter circuit. A circuit is called current to voltage converter circuit if it has following two properties. First one is that the output voltage VO will be the multiplication of a constant K with an input current II. Here K will be a constant. K will have an unit of ohm and the II will be the input current. So if I can show the output is the multiplication of a constant K and input current II that will be current to voltage converter circuit and the second point is the output VO is independent. of load connected to output terminal that means the output voltage equation VO will not contain the load component that is connected at the output terminal so if I can show that VO is equal to K into II and the output is independent of load connected to the output terminal that will be the current to voltage converter circuit this is the circuit structure of operational amplifier inverting current to voltage converter circuit from this circuit we will show output voltage VO equal to K I I or VO is directly proportional to the input current I I now see in this circuit the output is connected to the inverting terminal through this feedback resistor RF so the op amp will be in negative feedback due to negative feedback VP will be equal to VN here this terminal is directly grounded so VP is equal to zero as VP will be equal to 0 volt, you will see VN will be equal to 0. So VP equal to VN equal to 0 volt. See, this is called inverting current to voltage converter circuit because we are connecting the current source at the inverting terminal. Here you will see a very high resistance RS is connected in parallel with this II. RS should be very high. Why? RS has to be very high because in an ideal current source it has a very high resistance RS in parallel connected to it and in ideal case RS is infinity so this RS will be very high therefore the current through this path will be very low for the simplification of the circuit we will consider the current in this direction will be equal to zero therefore the current source ii will inject the current at the inverting terminal as the circuit is in negative feedback the current in this direction will be equal to zero therefore if i apply kishop's current law apply kishop's current law at inverting terminal you will see I will get II is equal to IF here this IF will be equal to VN minus VO over RF VN minus VO over RF equal to I I from the circuit we know that Vn is equal to 0 therefore I can write Vo is equal to minus Rf I I or Vo is equal to K I I where K is a constant
and that is equal to minus R F as the output voltage VO is equal to KII and it is not containing any quantity related to the output load. So this will be the current to voltage converter circuit. This is the circuit structure of operational amplifier non-inverting current to voltage converter circuit. Here the input current is applied at the non-inverting terminal. See this is non-inverting terminal. So this will be non-inverting circuit. If I can show VO is equal to KII, I can say that this will be non-inverting current to voltage converter circuit. The output terminal is connected to the inverting terminal through this RF. So the circuit will be in negative feedback. Due to negative feedback, VP will be equal to VN. Now see, as the circuit will be negative feedback, the current through the inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal will be equal to zero. Therefore, this input current will follow this path. That means the current II will flow through the parallel resistance R I up to this ground. Okay. Therefore, VP will be equal to I I into R I due to negative feedback VP equal to VN. So it will be VP equal to VN equal to I I R I and due to negative feedback the current through the non inverting and inverting terminal will be equal to zero. I N equal to I P equal to zero. Our sole purpose will be to derive the output voltage equation VO equal to KII. To do that, I will apply Kishok's current law at this terminal. Now see, let's say the current I1 is entering from this direction and the current I2 is flowing through this feedback resistor RF. So if I apply Kishok's current law at inverting terminal you'll see I1 will be equal to I2 this will be ground terminal so this terminal will have a voltage of 0 volt so I1 will be equal to 0 minus Vn over R 1 and I2 will be equal to Vn minus Vo over Rf. If I cross multiply this, I will get minus Rf Vn equal to Vn R1 minus R1 VO that will be equal to R1 VO equal to R1 VN plus RF VN from which I can write down VO will be equal to R1 plus RF over R1 V N now see our output voltage VO will be equal to 1 plus R F over R1 and we know that V N is equal to I I R I. So this will be R I I I. See, these whole terms will be equal to constant K into I I. So output VO is equal to K into I I, and here K is a constant, and that will be equal to 1 plus R F over R1 into R I. 
and the unit of this k will be equal to ohm because this will be unitless quantity and the unit of ri will be ohm okay so this is the non inverting current to voltage converter circuit and this is the output voltage equation of that okay that's it thank you